Hello, Happy Quacking X here. And of course, Behaving Beardlip. With another quick tip tutorial video explaining how you can exclude certain audio tracks from your VODs while still having them in your live streams. Now this is a fantastic tool for those of you that may want to exclude, you know, music, uh, Discord, voice chat, sound effects or alerts uh, from your VODs to make them easier to edit or highlight after your streams. Um, but just to note, if you are looking for a tool that may help you skirt around DMCA strikes uh, for your VODs and clips, uh, while using unlicensed music and, and sound effects. Although that may work for now, um, at the time of making this video, Twitch do explicitly say that you should not use unlicensed music and sound effects on your stream, as well as in VODs and clips. So we recommend following Twitch's advice um, to avoid any issues that may arise for you in future. Okay, first of all, this the only audio that you can exclude from your VODs or clips is audio that has been separated out in your OBS Studio mixer. Now, if your audio isn't separated and you want to know how to do that, we also have a tutorial for that. Um, the card should be at the top right-hand side of the screen right now. And, of course, there will be a link in the description below. And, again, I feel like I do have to mention this but this won't work with Streamlabs OBS. Open up OBS Studio and then click on Settings, then press Output. And then at the top of the pop-out, you want to make sure that Advanced is selected in the Output mode in the drop-down menu. Now, under the Streaming tab, you can see we have a checkbox next to Twitch VOD Track. Check the box and select Track 2. Just to note here, Audio track is your live stream track, and Twitch VOD track is your audio track for your VODs and clips, etc. Now press OK. All right, now you want to right click in your OBS Studio audio mixer, and then you want to click on Advanced Audio Properties. And then over to the right of the pop out, you should be able to see like a list of tracks for each source. And basically, any tracks that you don't want to be included in your VODs or in your clips, you want to make sure that you untick them on the track two, as that's the track that you selected earlier to be your Twitch VOD track. So anything that you don't want to be in the VOD, you want to make sure it's unchecked on track two. All of your audio sources that you have in track one will output to the stream and then anything under track two will be in the VODs. So essentially you could even set it up where you have audio that's not actually broadcast live on stream, but then if you watch the VOD back later, you'd be able to hear it. I don't know why you'd ever have a reason to do that, but eh. <laughs> And that is literally it. As always, we've tried to keep this video as straightforward, to the point, as simple as possible. You know, sticking to our mantra of creating guides for potatoes by a, a, a couple of potatoes. Hey, speak for yourself. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have found this video helpful, then please do leave a comment, like and subscribe and all that stuff. And if you do want to catch us live on stream, you can check us out at twitch.tv slash happycrackernex. And twitch.tv forward slash behaving beardly. See you next time. Bye. Bye-bye.